Now, you might think you're in Spain like for the good weather, but no, not really. But this is damp, you know, because of the river. So today's going to be a nice day. I had about six days of rain and storm. And uh, so I'm hiding here. You know, this is the best place. Nobody will come through here, yeah? Nobody would like to. It's full of ticks. Probably full of vipers as well. And me like here. Oi! You afraid of vipers? Well, Sarge, you know. Yes, Sarge, you know, do we have to? Yeah, close the door, Sonny. Just close the door. Don't think about it. So, um, and still in this little provincial town, Tortosa. I like the small t provincial towns, you know. Don't go to bloody Madrid or Barcelona or even Alicante was far too big for me. These little provincial towns, like in France, it's nice, you know. You've got more chance to meet some real nice people. I think I met some nice people here in the, uh, was it, Catalonia. Uh, yeah, not bad, yeah. So, it's a bit dirty because of all that. So, look at the mess they made that. Spaniards. You're messy, eh? You just throw it away. So, here too. All over. Are hey, you vapors? Yeah. Hey, just go to sleep a little bit more. It's early in the morning. You know, actually, these vipers, they live in holes in the ground or in between the rocks. But how does a viper make a hole in the earth? Well, just as Pharaoh and the Swissies, yeah, they kill the inhabitants, the mice. And they, like a parasite, and then they take over their, their, their dwellings, eh? Swissie. Eh? These aristocratic parasites doing the same thing. Being us like dead in our own lands, eh? Being prisoners in our own slaves in our own lands. And that's probably why these pharaohs they have a snake on their head, eh? The Uraeus cobra snake. Oh, look at all the garbage they leave here, you know? Everywhere, it's amazing. So, you know. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that, all plastic cans and look at them. Oh, look at here. Yeah, you can hear this, probably a snake underneath. Oh, especially the gypsies, they, they just dump their garbage all over, maybe. But the Spanish too, you know. So you think, you know, if they don't respect nature, do you think they respect each other or take hitchhikers? You know, if they... If they have any passion for nature, do, do you think they have passion for humanity? Well, forget it. That's why they have a civil war here, you know? It's, a, it's, a, it's an enormous fascist country. Yesterday the cops, they came to me and said, I must put on a t-shirt. You know, put on a uniform and have the right to pump your energy, like, you know? Uh, I love people, they have no energy, you know? Very noisy, no energy, no, no spiritual energy, like, look at this, man, it's all over. If I walk here through the snakes here and the ticks, every time I hear all the plastic cans and the <coughs> step on it, and I know the snakeys, they hide underneath something under a stone or some plastic, eh? Can't say it. I'm really fond of the idea of going through here with all these vipers, like, you know. Me too, Sarge. So well, let's go. Normally I would have rolled up my pants here because it's wet, it's been raining. But well, maybe there's a little tiny chance this little snake, it won't like snap at me calves. Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's go. There we go. Well, anyway, like back home, we're used to the black bomba, which isn't black, by the way. It's uh, green, but as its mouth, it's all black inside, they call it a black mamba, because that's the last thing you see in your life, you know. Yeah. Bloody hell. So, how are you doing my man? 
Okay, Sarge, what was that? And these bloody mosses, uh, these bloody things are out again as well. These um, flies, how do you call them? The, the mosk niggers are out again as well early in the morning. Well, I haven't been up like this early yet here. But I thought it's not a good idea to stay here too long because the people here yesterday, they were looking at me through the window there. Ah, oh, look, the sun is coming out. Just the, uh, the fog pulls up and yeah. But anyway, now South Africa, it doesn't belong to us anymore. Right? They say, in spite of the fact that we were the first ones, you know, European, uh, you're like refugees, religious refugees, because of the 30 year war, well, I made it. Okay, good. So, they say Africa, in the politics, you know, this in the politics, they say Africa is for the Africans, you know, in spite of it's our country, we work for it. And, uh, there's where I slept. And uh, at the same time, they say it's a free world. Europe is for everyone. So how come they say Europe is for everyone and Africa is only for the blacks? What's going on? I Sting and Bono, you know, with your propaganda against us, South Africa, for some lies, you know. How can you say Europe is for everyone and Af Africa is only for the... How can you say this? It's a lie, you know? Just with the guest workers, they were never meant to stay. And again, I've got, I've got no problems with them, you know? I mean, I, for me, it's perfectly well the mess we're in. You know, so nobody bothers with me. And I make nice uh, with black people, m uh, Muslim people, I, I do make nice... Uh, uh, encounters, yeah. So I made it, eh? So no black, no viper thinking by him. So why you stepped on me tail? So let's do what I'm, what I should do, you know, like snapping his juicy toe, like. Eh? Look here too. It's full of Muslims. Many, I saw many. Here, there's some more here. Another castle. Look at that. And this is like the, uh, you know, the aristocracy, like the caliph and our aristocracy. They, um, they decided this. They just imported them. If they wanted or not, they just come here to Europe because it has been decided. Just like Saladin, he has been, he was a Templar. You know, they decided, eh? It's full of Muslims here. So apparently this is a cathedral built by the Romans, but it hasn't been finished, the old man told me. But you know why is there Joachim and Boaz here with two... Where are they? Uh, oh, there they are. Two obelisk and pyramid on top of the obelisk. I, I told you, the Romans see Tsar, the king of Rome. It's all pharaonic, I told you so. And they didn't manage, you know, to, to beat us, especially the Germans, Germanic tribes, let's better say that. Uh, they came back and building all the castles. And now, you know, they're hidden buggers. So, it's a holiday, so it says cathedral. Okay. In fact, it's from the 12th century, as I thought, actually. But the guy probably meant there's some uh, Roman oh. foundations or something. It says in German. Oh. Uh, that's what I call a doorway. So down the castle there, you can see there. You see, this is an archive of the Knights Templars. Look at that. Yeah, Templars cross here. How do you think they put it on here? Yeah. Templars crosses, it says, it's at the archives. I know that's probably Isis with Horus. What else, eh? Probably a lot more to say, but even, even the door knocks here, the, uh, the nails are like little pyramids or Templar crosses, see? 
Uh, let's go sit, sit down for a while. Uh, there's the back side of that cathedral. I'm going to sit down there. It's like an, amph an amphitheater. Uh, you see, why, why, do they, why do you think they make it like the beginning of a pyramid here? Eh? Eh? Uh, probably don't have to answer you that. You guys. Hello, Swissy. You're watching me. I watch you too, eh? Yeah. Another concept of three for the children slaves, the future slaves. The circle concept of three or the compass. The square or the compass of four. But the concept of four. Four kiddies. Now look, what do you think? They put a pyramid on top of it, eh? Where's it? Eh? Look at that. There's another one here. Why do you think they do this, eh? Sort of a posh thing here. Now look, there's a shop here. It's called El Faro, the Pharaoh. What do you know? It's a building shop, eh? They're the builders. Build your own pyramid and be happy. Yeah. Work for your grave. Work for the life after life. What a nice little jungle here. I'd love to pitch up my tent here and sleep here. Reminds me a bit of uh, when I was in Rhodesia, eh? There were some parts of it, like this, you know. Depends on the season. So I was at the university. They don't let me in at the uh, the library. The library is closed. They have they've been like for Eastern. They have been, they have been having fiesta for bloody a whole week. Everything is closed. That's so why I waited another two days for this. Uh, close, close, close. Fiesta, fiesta. What they do though? I noticed there are no more traffic shields here. They're all gone. No, usually they're standing traffic shields, you know, to all the. I mean, at, at the, the end of the town, you know, it would be traffic shields. You know, they, they want everybody to be dependent on the big brother, on the electronic 666, the beast. Um, GPS stuff. If you don't have a GPS, if you're not in there, if you don't have your 666 chip, you will never find where you are. Unless you have to ask everybody like every year and trust them, you know. Oh, so I was sleeping there in the bush there. Yeah, you know, look, the red cross here. A Swiss A, Swiss cross. There you go. It's a red cross of the Templars. So Swiss is here, eh? And they probably said, oh, we were so good, we helped the Spanish people, you know, like the Hearts and Minds program. We gave them a, um, you know, we, 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 we got the bullet out, or, you know, but at the same time, it's a Templar spy organization. And they betrayed the Spanish. Yes, Swiss traitors. You know, look at here, there's all Templar stuff here at the door. So be aware, Catalonian people, they are they betrayed you. They betrayed the the people who wanted freedom in Spain against the fascists. At the same time the Swiss, you know, they finance Hitler. Yes? Legion Condor, La Guernica, the bombardment of Barcelona and Madrid. You see? And after the war, the Swiss Red Cross. Heinrich Rothmund, the commissioner of Bern, they gave to the remaining Nazi war criminals, Nazi Templar war criminals, they gave them a Red Cross passport to go to Argentina, South America, where they did it again, killing people, concentration camps in the stadium, killing people like Che Guevara, killing people like Victor Jara. It's Templar stuff. They are the baddies, eh? So, don't trust them, trust me.